Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Dr. Azhar Ramli and to my fellow friends. So today we would like to present our what our topic which is ratio between two population variances which is F distribution. So before we proceed with uh, our discussion, we would like to to present our teams which is the first one is uh, me, myself, Raisha Binti Abdul Rahman, and my friends, Muhammad Taufik Dayat B. Rosli, and another friends, which is Raisha Binti Marazi. Okay, for the introduction uh, in this chapter, in this topic, which is ratio of two population variances, so we would like to start the discussion right now. Okay, in this, in this topic, first, we would like to know facts about F distribution. So, this is the graph uh, that show in this slide, the graph of F distribution. So, first facts is the curve is not symmetrical but skewed to the right as you can see in the slide. So, the second fact is there is a different curve for each set of degree of freedom. The third fact, the F statistic is greater than or equal to zero. And the fourth fact is as the degrees of freedom for the numerator, which is our V1, and for the denominator, which is V2, get larger, the curve approximates the normal. So as we can see in this slide, uh, this graph uh, show that the first one is degree of freedom is V1 is 10 and V2 is 20. And the for the B, and this one is B, uh, V1 is 40 and V2 is 40. We can see that the difference which is when the numerator and denominator get larger, it's more to approximate to the normal, the curve. And five, uh, the last facts about F distribution is other uses for the F distributions include comparing comparing two variances and two-way analysis of variance. Then two-way analysis is beyond the scope of this chapter. Okay, next. For the confidence intervals. Okay, so now we, uh, we will proceed with our topic which is confidence interval for ratio of two population variances. So the first one is to compare the variance of two normally distributed population we use a variance ratio which is sigma 1 square over sigma 2 square. Second point is a point estimate of the ratio of two population variances, uh, which is sample variances. Uh, we use a sample, sample variances 1 square over sample variances 2 square. The third point, the central limit theorem uh, all possible samples of size N1 and N2 are selected from, uh, from their respective population. So the ratio of sample variances uh, uh, is denoted in this slide, is form of F distribution. The next one. Okay, the last one, the last point is if sigma 1 square and sigma 2 square are the variances of normal populations, then interval estimate of sigma 1 square over sigma 2 square established by using the, the statistic that is denoted in this slide. So next, we move to derive confidence interval for ratio of two population variants. Yes. So step 1, identify the function random variables involved parameter, which we know that F distribution consists of uh, population variance and sample variance. And so we denote S, F equal to sigma 2 squared times with S1 squared divided by sigma 1 squared times with S2 squared. And then step 2, we determine the distribution of random variable. So what we see is this function followed by f 
distribution which V1 and V2. The degree of freedom V1 and V2. Next is step 3. We find the critical value of both sides. As we can see is this is a graph of a bell shape is similar to chi square. So the right sh shaded region is stated as alpha over 2 and the left side is stated by 1 minus alpha over 2. Why, uh, why 1 minus alpha over 2 is because our statistical table uh, is given as uh, at the right hand side. So if you want to find the the value of left side, we need to minus by one because submission of probability is equal to one. Step four, we write the probability for random variable in between both critical values. So uh, as we can see, here is the confidence interval of the equation of confidence interval, uh, which is sigma two squared over sigma uh, sigma, two, which is sigma two squared times with s one squared divided by sigma one squared times with s two squared, which is larger than f one minus alpha over two and less than f alpha over two. And then we we want to estimate the ver the population variance, which is variance one squared over variance two squared. So we rotate it. When we rotate the equation, it happen. Uh, so it can uh, it's become sigma one squared of uh, times with s two squared over sigma two squared as times with s one squared is larger than one over f alpha over 2 and less than 1 over f1 minus alpha over 2. So, we move to the next step which is step 5. We subject the parameter of interest in the middle of the inequality. So, we want the interest is about population variance. So, that's why we move the sample variance to the both sides. And and so we can uh, so the equation is given by sigma 1 squared over sigma 2 squared is larger than s1 squared over s2 squared times with 1 over f alpha over 2 and less than s1 squared over s2 squared times with 1 over f1 minus alpha over 2. Then the next step we we add a, conf a degree of freedoms to both sides, which is V1 and V2. Next. So, whereas V1 is equal to N1 minus 1 and V2 is equal to N2 minus 1. So, what we see the, uh, the, the theorem here is theorem from table 9, which in F distribution, F1 minus alpha V1 V2 V is equal to 1 over F alpha V2 V1. This is because uh, the theorem table said it has a lowest uh, percent point of the distribution and may be obtained from the relation. So that's why, therefore, our confidence interval for sigma 1 squared over sig 2 squared is at a uh, sigma 1 squared over six, sigma 2 squared is larger than S1 squared over S2 squared times with 1 over F alpha over 2 V1 V2 and less than S1, six, uh, S1 squared over S2 squared times with F alpha over 2 V2 V1. So we move to the last part of our presentation, which is the example for the confidence for our confidence interval, which is the ratio between two population variants. So our example, the following are the scores obtained in English placement tests by samples of nine boys 
and ten girls and ten girls. All the boys and girls are on the same age. Assume the data are taken from two normally distributed population with equal variances. Construct a 98% confidence interval for the ratio of the two population variants. So this is the table for the scores obtained in English placement test for boys and girls. Okay, so there is nine scores for boys, for nine boys, and then nine girls, a nine score for girls, uh, ten scores for girls. So the solution, we find the variance for boys as one squared, which is 125.3333 samples for boys and one is equal to nine. Variance for girls as two squared, uh, 369.0894. So sample for girls and two is equal to 10. Since 98% confidence interval, therefore alpha is over is equal to 0 0.02 and alpha over 2 is equal to 0 0.01. So F 0 0.01 uh, V1 V2 8 9 is 8 and 9. Uh, we get uh, we get 8 and 9 because uh, N1 minus 1 for V1 and V2 N2 minus 1. So we get 5.47 and for F 0.01 V2 V1, we get 5.92 by interpolation. By using, the, by using the formula to find confidence interval of sigma 1 squared over sigma 2 squared, so we get sigma 1 squared over sigma 2 squared is larger than uh, 1 to 5.3333 over 369.0894 uh, multiply with 1 over 5.47 where we get 0 0.06208 and then uh, less than 1 to 5.3333 over 369.0894 multiply with 5.92 so we get 2.0103. So sigma 1 squared over sigma 2 squared is between 0 0.06208, 0 0.06208 and 2.0103. Therefore, we believe 98% confidence interval for the ratio of the two population variances, which is uh, 9 boys and 10 girls score in English placement test are uh, between 0 0.06208 and 2.0103 so that's all from us thank you